Hi, we're going to talk about the grand strategy for California seceding. Yes, California secession, becoming a nation. Operated by YesCalifornia.org, the largest group pushing for California to become an independent nation from the United States of America. This is the point of everything we do. But I want to cover the grand strategy that Yes California has been moving on and will continue to move on through 2017. Today is New Year's Day and we thought it would be perfect to start it off right by explaining where we've come and where we're intending to go. My name is Marcus Ruiz Evans. I'm one of the highest ranking officers in Yes California. I co-founded the movement and I wrote the book in 2012 that actually started the whole thing. But let's get right into it. Yes, California, on New Year's Day, as of right now, where are we at? 30,000 followers on Facebook. That means people following us along and said that they liked it on Facebook. I want to point out that the California Republican Party and the California Democratic Party, the non-politically fringe groups, only have about 40,000 people on Facebook. That's right, we're 10,000 people away from moving from fringe to full-on mainline. 110,000 people on email who want to be involved and get information. 13,000 people who have said that they would volunteer and do anything that uh, they thought would be helpful, make graphics, uh, pass out flyers, design flyers, talk to friends and family, uh, collect signatures, talk to the media. 10 officers have joined since November 9th. So it's moved quickly and it's growing at light speed or what I call 10 times or 100 times the speed of light. We also have had meetups. What that means is that somebody who was not a Yes California member said, I want to be part. I think California should do this. What can I do to start here in my hometown? Give me the tools to unleash this. People in San Diego, Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Irvine, Berkeley, Fresno, San Gabriel Valley, Eureka, San Francisco, Fort Bragg have all done that. And we've had meetups in all those places represented by the X's on this map. Additionally, we are now working with people in Stanislaus County, Tulare, Humboldt, San Luis Obispo, where the circles are. This represents the map of people who have wanted to have this discussion and will probably have a meetup or are working with Yes California now to do it. As you can see, it's fairly representative of the entire area. Full national outreach. But that means is that all of the media in California has essentially already covered uh, Yes California and the secession movement to become a nation in California. LA Times, LA Weekly in Sacramento, it's been TV, print, and radio has covered this. San Francisco, Bay Area, television, print, and radio has covered this. San Diego, print has covered this. In the Sierra Foothills, mountains, two different newspapers have covered this. When you go to Fresno, they've also covered it in print. San Jose, they've covered it in print. When we go to the nation that is our neighbor, America, the New York Times, Fox, MSN, CNN have all covered Yes, California specifically. So what we have is the people very close to the official political parties in our nation. We have 110,000 people who want to be involved or stay in connect. 13,000 people, which is two times the number of your average initiative signature gathering effort. Two times already, today. 10 officers, meetups throughout California, additional ones planned, saturation throughout our nation, saturation in media throughout our nation, and we're starting to get in and have made at least mainline, mainstream, whatever you want to call it, news in America, that foreign nation. So, we're dead serious about this. The number one problem with being an independence movement is that people think it's a joke. They think you're joking, haha, you're not really serious. People say that all the time. I want to point out how all those people are dumb and ignorant. Here's why. Yes, California, yes, California has filed papers accepted by the government of California to have to have vote for independence. Under international law and precedent, there's a couple different things you have to do in order to legally and peacefully succeed at succession. Number one is having a vote. We've already done it, accepted by the California government. We're filing that paperwork. We have to collect signatures. It'll be up for a vote. But the formal process accepted by the California government through the legal system has already been done. It's already up on the website of the California government attorney general initiative coordination office. Secondly, 
The world has to know that your vote's happening so that the host country can't deny and pretend it isn't real. Yes, California specifically has been covered in the top news, the four top news agencies, corporations, whatever you want to call them, in the nations of Germany, England, Mexico, Japan, Russia, France, Scotland, and we're working on China. That means that we have global-wide recognition that people in California both have filed paperwork to have a vote and actually want this. Number three, moving on. Even if you have a vote, and even if the world recognizes it, you are not a nation unless another nation says, I recognize you, period. We now have, because of a cultural center, it's being called an embassy, it's not, it's a cultural center, it doesn't do anything other than say, come visit California and we love you. CBS Television in Los Angeles admitted that basically, we now have a recognized nation saying that they will recognize us if we get the vote. That is the third and most key thing to actually be successful at secession under international law. We have now, and this is specifically just Yes California, and you Yes California members, have achieved all three of the top three things. But let's go to the fourth. This helps. People around the world have to know that this is a genuine social movement. It's not some secret millionaire in the background. There's not a nefarious company that's just making it look real when there's nothing behind it. Well, we've done that. We've had meetups and photos around California with new faces. We have 30,000 people who are real humans. And we have new leaders who've joined. You simply cannot do that unless it is a legitimate, authentic grassroots movement. We've now done that. These four things achieved exclusively by Yes California show that this movement is very serious and has met all the qualifications under international law and international legal precedent to be accepted as a legitimate secession movement. Moving on, here's the mission statement. And I want to take time to point this out. The whole point of Yes California is to have a discussion. We're not saying people have to agree with us. We are saying that you have a right to look up facts and talk about them. And if anybody tells you that you don't, they don't believe in democracy, because that's what that means. Take the conversation seriously. Here we are. Entire nation discusses. Here we are. The whole point of the meetups, of being in the news, of talking about this, of going on the media, to let people know that it's okay to have a conversation. Would California be better off as an independent nation? What would that look like? How could we do it? Why? Should? Have a talk. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you being informed and discussing facts. And if anybody tells you differently, they're wrong. Moving on. Here's our goals. By the 20th and 21st of January, that's coming up in just a few weeks in our brand new year, 2017, we're going to have all of the regions organized. Bay Area, Sacramento, Los Angeles, Central Valley, the coast. And we're having and participating in protest marches against America's choice for president. Again, popular and electoral vote on the 20th and 21st of January. Yes, California is going to be in both of those in two different marches on the 20th and 21st in both the Los Angeles and Bay Area regions of our nation. Uh, one of which is the Women's March, and then the other one is just a general protest Trump vote march. Both of which are protesting that the values that have been chosen to represent America are anti-California. We invite you to go to those protests. We didn't organize them, but we're definitely going to be there. Moving on, we have to start getting everybody recognized and organized and together to start doing initiative coordination, signature gathering. We need about 500,000, some are saying 800,000 signatures in order to get this up for vote. So by the 20th, our goal for Yes California across all of California is to have each region organized, be ready to show up at these protest marches in the LA Bay Area, and have people who have a good working knowledge of how to do signature gathering. Now, what exactly does it mean to be organized? Well, you have a Facebook page for your region with its own unique identity. You have a meetup in each major city. You have meetups in the colleges. You have officers who have shown up, participated, doing the work, 
showing that they're serious. And then you have those officers know each other so they can actually communicate. Nobody has to force them to do it. What you get is people who are dedicated, qualified, experienced, independent, and connected. That's what it means to be organized as a region. Finally, it would be good to have someone who's good at public relations heading that up, and you'll need to have your regional identity selective talking points. How do you want your peoples to explain things? Well, top 10 questions. And do you have some people that are really good for media? Facebook page, meetups around the place, college students meeting up, officers identified, officers communicating with each other on their own, public relations people identified, and talking points for your initial members. By the 20th, this is what it means to be organized. We will be here and everybody will be ready for this on this date. You can expect that in the next couple weeks. But I want to wrap up the presentation with one last thing. It's going to get bigger and better, baby. Watch this. Massive bump is going to happen. There is going to be another embassy or cultural center in another nation. And then there'll be another one. And the world will recognize that the nations around the planet are starting to recognize and agree that it would be okay if California legally and peacefully seceded from America. America's choice for president is going to act like himself. He's going to do something stupid again. And people are going to react not well. We don't encourage anything that's not peaceful and legal. But we also don't have control over 40 million people. People are going to be upset and he is going to do something stupid. And when they realize that the federal government isn't going to stop them, they're going to start thinking outside of the box. And yes, California will be there. The California government is not going to be able to protect Californians from federal law. Now, I know people want to debate this, but it is well established that in America, the federal law supersedes all state law. People go, well, what about marijuana? The federal government chose not to bust California for violating federal law. That is not the same thing as California could do whatever it wanted, regardless of the federal government. Federal courts have to allow that. And if the new president of America gets to select Supreme Court justices, how do you think those courts are going to vote? More embassies. More stupidity. Failure. And when people are not being protected by their California government, while the highest officials elected in California say that they will, they're going to start looking outside the box. And yes, California will be there too. We're going to be at the protests in L.A. and the Bay Area Friday, January 20th, and Saturday, January 21st. Again, one of them is a women's march, and the other is a general protest. Both marches are against Trumpian values, or whatever you want to call it. We call it a representation of what America says. And I want to point this out. Yes, California has not changed its talking points. Two and a half years ago, we told you that America has values that are very different than California, with harsh consequences for your life. You didn't want to hear. You wanted to debate. Now no one debates us. This movement is not about Trump being elected. It's about that Trump proves what we've been saying for years. It's going to get worse. You also protested another president called George W. Bush. That's two presidents you couldn't stand in the last 10 years. Do you need to do this three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more times? Maybe not. Maybe jump in now. Fix it now. Save your life. Save your kids. Or don't and risk whatever's going to happen. Finally, viral action. And this is the key part for you. These things are going to happen no matter what. But what activity are you going to think of in your meetup, in your region, in your chapter, that gets the local news to come out? What action are you going to do that gets people to go, did you see him do that? Legal and peaceful. But controversy is our friend. Agitation is the toolkit of Gandhi, King, Chavez, and Walesa. All of the greats in social movements that were all legal and peaceful. They pushed the envelope and they knew exactly what they were doing. And the media and the public paid attention. What do you have in your brain that we could do? A new member is going to join. It's going to be someone famous. I don't know who. I'm not sure when. But it's going to happen. And we'll get even more media then. And more people. Finally, you are going to come up with a new slogan. And a new graphic. And it's going to go viral. So we have one, two, three, four, five things that are going to grow the membership of Yes California in 2017 guaranteed. 
on top of the fact that we've already achieved metrics that place us just shy of the mainly mainstream political parties of the Democrats and Republicans in California. Finally, we have already proven that this is a serious movement, and we are very focused on our goal and getting the regions organized. I want to conclude with one last thing. This happens because you execute this. That's all I have to say. Thank you, and happy 2017.